job grinding everything down. Tomorrow we'll start um, doing the sanding. Got both sides here now. A couple patches. But everything looks good. Really tough job, really hard work. Um, but the guys have got it done in pretty short order. This is the beautiful jambalaya. It's our hollow that we're doing. And uh, this is where we're at with the vessel. And we're taking everything down to the wood. So polishing this up a little bit. Um, new zincs. We'll swap out all the zincs, of course. Keep her safe. Um, yeah, so taking off about 11 years worth of epoxy paint. So it's been some serious grinding work. Um, checking all the seams, we'll be recocking seams. All the planks are looking good. Had a survey done on the boat and uh, he says it's in excellent condition and wishes he could buy it, which is <laughs> wonderful to hear. You can see but... last year or two years ago where we replaced a couple planks. So this one's new. Some of those soft planks were replaced up there, but you can see that uh, everything's in really good condition. So this is after grinding. We're still going to pass a sander over it. See how big and beautiful she is. You got to see this shape though. Gives you a really nice look of the shape of this incredible vessel. Perfect symmetry, absolute perfect symmetry. And as we're taking her back to the wood, like I said, this side has been grinded. It's had the grinder pass over it, taken off all the paint. We'll do the sanding and then we're going to go back to old school style. And we'll be doing um, a cold tar epoxy. You can actually see here where we've had these layers of paint. You can see the seam, seam. Um, Everything's looking really good. So this is yet to be finished, ground out, but isn't that just a pretty picture of all the layers of paint? So here's, here's my beautiful girl. Hey there everyone, welcome to Jambalaya Sailing Schooner. I'm here with Palm Tree Marina and this is Akeem. We are switching out the seal on the drive shaft and this time I'm replacing it with a mechanical seal instead of a um, packing seal. So um, apparently it's going to be better, better, stronger, faster, greater durability. It still has this little thingy me do which is going to allow um, water in to cool it um, but this is more for industrial purposes so it's um, it's good for sailboats but it's particularly overkill as well so this should last a good long time and uh, there's the other bit of it but really critical component we're switching it out and Akeem's working his magic there right Akeem yeah I am <laughs> Hi, we're just wrapping things up here and pretty happy with the state of the boat. Condition of the wood is awesome. So there's only a couple things we've had to replace, but it was really by choice. It wasn't because anything was soft. It just, just said it could have been done better. So as we discovered what was going on in the boat, because we stripped it back down to the wood, um, it was my preference that we take the two pieces that were there and uh, turn it into one and secure the fasteners. And then there was another piece here that would just fell a little bit short of perfect. So then the guys did that. And uh, here at the transom, we found a small soft spot. 
And then when we explored it a little bit, it was a little bit bigger. So the gentlemen have just um, taken it out. And uh, sometimes one small spot, you want to take it right to the to the end. So gentlemen are having a break here, and we'll be moving on to paint the above water line. And then later on, we'll continue with some sanding, and that'll be another story for later. Hello again. Welcome back to the boatyard. I'm in Grenada, and this is Jambalaya. So, um, more work today, Saturday. But, um, got pretty much everything sanded. And here you can see where the new boards went in. And there, um, the seams are a bit too open, so we put in some new boards there just to make it a little bit more tight. The guy's been sanding back, um, top side and water side. So they've done an awesome job. And um, yeah, now they're starting on the other side of the boat. So they're working really well, really quickly. And yeah, we're gonna be done this part of the job, phase seven. <laughs> I don't know what phase it is now. Um, on Monday. Yeah, and then we'll, then we'll be able to move to the painting phase. So have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and stay tuned from Jambalaya. Stay salty. Ciao, ciao. Bye. All right. This looks so seriously badass. Check out this. So we just started painting with the coal tar epoxy. So it's, the idea is here is that it uh, penetrates the wood, protecting it from critters. And uh, yeah, I am just, I think this looks so cool. Kendon's moving quickly and that's just awesome. This is the phenomenal Jambalaya sailing schooner handmade in Windward Karyaku. Uh, we're here at Spice Isle Marine. These guys have done a fantastic job. I've been here for, I think, 37, 47 days or something like that. They've, um, they've been super supportive, really helpful. And she's looking gorgeous, glamorous, ready to hit the water. Um, big shout out to Spice Isle Marine, um, all the ladies and gentlemen, and especially Johnny, without you, Hmm, who knows? It would have been super duper uber tough. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Jambalaya is going into the water. She's going to be touching down with the assistance of the experts at Spice Isle Marine. The guys have been awesome. And here she is, ready to be wild and free like the wind where she belongs. And look at these super fancy mermaids. Welcome Jambalaya. Welcome to the water, girl. <laughs> 